everybody and welcome to your weekly woo. Thank you for all the wonderful emails and messages. September has really invited me to make some structural changes now that kindergarten is happening in my home. And it is quite time consuming as it should be. So I have limited time for clients and for posting. So what I've decided to do is actually post most of my content on Patreon for my patrons and you can find that link in my bio and if you're watching on YouTube you can find it below. So this week we pulled a possum and pyrite. Pyrite, the spark of life, fool's gold. So we know that we are in some deep water, right? 2020 is already deep water, but now we're like Mariana Trench deep water. And the spark of life, Pyrite is telling us, do not let what you may be witnessing, what you may be confronting, what you may be healing, what you may be traversing, do not let it take the joy, the innate joy from your life, from your daily life. A possum, its medicine is all about playing dead, right? It's the diversion. It's, um, I like to think of this of like, you know, when I was in my 20s and the people who would just suddenly disappear from the party because they didn't want to say goodbye or they got too drunk or whatever, <laughs> we always say they're playing the possum. So this is an important protection possum medicine. When stuff is getting too intense and people, you know, you have people on polarized sides and people are arguing around you or maybe you're in an argument, whatever it is, to just, to, to play dead, to duck out of it, to untangle yourself from it and fo refocus, find your joy. You know, what's going on with this election, this is just gonna get more and more intense. So let's talk a little bit about the astrology. This week, it was very, very potent because what we have is Saturn, which governs time. It governs corporations, governments. It's the patriarchy, so to speak. It's, it's the structure that is, that holds human society in place. That planet is moving in a direct motion. So it's, we call it stationing, and it stations on Tuesday. As it stations, it's been in retrograde. As it stations, Mars will be squaring it. So just for an example, because I know a lot of you don't know a lot about astrology, for example, in my life, so Mars for all of us is what we want, our will, our desire, and how we get it. Saturn is time and constraints, and they are squaring each other. So what we want, what we desire, is being dampened, restructured with time, or with societal constraints, or with bureaucracy, or with red tape. So for instance, for me, I want to be able to be posting with you guys, and doing kindergarten, and also dedicating myself to my acting career, and the clients that I've committed to, and yet time, Right? There isn't enough time to do all of that. So that's really where I'm feeling it in my life. And it's difficult. With Mars, it can make you angry and frustrated. So that's where it's affecting my life because Mars is in my 11th house and Saturn is in the 7th house. For all of us, it's in a different area of the chart. And I am booked for September. I have no more slots for clients for September, but I do have openings in October and when they fill up, I will be taking a waiting list. So if this is something that you want to look at, you can contact me at info at thegoodwoo.org. This week, we are really going to be feeling whether that new moon in Virgo, whether we acted on it as best we could. This new moon in Virgo that we just had about a week and a half ago was really to show us how we need to restructure our daily life. What do we need to do for our health? It's showing us, it was showing us, it will continue to show us, what we need to do to be able to maintain our joy despite everything that's gonna be going on. In spite a lot of fighting, possible violence, right? Changes, who knows, who knows what's coming? We do know that these last few months of 2020 are going to be the most intense. 
So that new moon was there to show us, okay, what do we need to do so that we feel grounded, secure, safe, nourished during this next phase of great, great change. Now, because we have Mars in retrograde and we do until mid-November, this is not a time to be starting new things. This is not a time to be making big, huge decisions. We also have a Mercury retrograde that's going to be in the sign of Scorpio, and it's going to be all over this you know, election in our country, the United States of America, which you know, this election affects the whole globe. This is just a, a time of great uncertainty and confusion. So we have to do whatever it takes. Like I love that possum is our, <laughs> is our animal totem this week. Because some, sometimes you just gotta roll over and be like, you know what, you win, you got it. Don't, don't risk your peace of mind and your joy just to have the last word. Do you wanna be right or do you wanna be at peace? And I wanna encourage you guys to choose peace. Because the truth is, if we were to look at what we are as a collective, we are like one mind. And some people even believe that, you know, creator, what all of this is, is one creator who is experiencing itself in all these different specific ways, but that we all actually come from the same mind. But what that means is, that amazing intelligence that created all of this is having all these different experiences, which means each opinion, each experience is complete in itself, is right in itself. But yours is yours and theirs is theirs. But it's all right because it's one being experiencing all these different layers of itself, which is infinite. Now this is a huge big idea. But when we're in this kind of societal pressure, that 2020, this pressure cooker, it invites us, it opens a door for us to see in these higher vibrational perspectives so that we can prove, oh, no matter what's going on, and 2020 has given us so much and it's not done giving us, no matter what 2020 brings, we maintain this joie de vie, this excitement to wake up in the morning, this excitement to make the world a better place, this focus to see the beauty in whatever is happening, even as chaotic and polarized as it may seem, there's beauty there. This is also a great time to observe what others are doing so that you're inspired to not do that, right? So it's like contrary action. You see people doing things that you're like, oh my God, that's awful. And then you make sure, okay, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm gonna be better than that. So this is something I'm really talking about with my clients, this idea of perhaps one of the reasons we choose as souls to come to planet Earth is to intensify our light, even in darkness to hold that purity even, even around like corruption and mayhem and betrayal and whatever it is. And if that's the goal then, this idea of what is your daily life like? How are you feeding yourself? How are you sleeping? Are you drinking enough water? The body, the vessel, the temple has got to be on point for you to be able to maintain that. If you're not feeling well and not taking care of yourself, if your self-love is down in the, you know, if you're not self-loving, you are going to be subject to all of this dissension around you. But if you work at maintaining your high vibration, this will all just look like a big puppet show. And although it's important to take responsibility for your life, you'll be able to see a perspective that is above and beyond this surface level of what's been happening and what will continue to happen. So no matter what, don't let the circumstances dim your light this week. And think about this idea of time and what is time to you and, and how do you need to adjust your relationship with it? And sometimes that takes a lot of acceptance. 
And another thing I wanted to bring up, this time is really bringing up, the whole year has done this, but mortality. And this belief that life ends when we die, when the body dies. But this card really speaks of life continues. And what is beyond this singular existence is vast. And sometimes in times like this where it gets really, where things are so focused on what's not going right, we are most able to tap into that spirit that is infinite, that never dies. So it's interesting, we got play dead <laughs> and we got the spark of life. So even in itself, right, it's kind of a polarity. But listen to Possum, when it's time to pull out, go. Don't be afraid to leave that party and not say goodbye, right? Don't be afraid to hang up that phone and be like, you know what? It's not a good time for me to continue this conversation. Or you know what? I don't want to talk about that. There's certain things I'm not going to talk about right now. So you guys, thank you so much for viewing. And if you would like help tapping into that light, that spark of life, you know where I am. Contact me. And also to new people, followers, subscribers, there is a lot of questions I've been getting about why I started this, why I do the good woo. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to link a playlist here at the end so that you can actually access all of my original videos from Seeking the Sacred Earth, which was the original incarnation of the good woo. And it will uh, help you understand why I do this and why it's so important to me and hopefully why it will become important to you. Thank you so much for viewing you guys and I wish you a blessed, blessed week.